Hi, today we are presenting a Smartsheet dashboard with additional capabilities, interactive widgets. A use case when you want a new view based on a feature criteria using a date range, a specific drop-down list values, or any custom value without creating a new dashboard. The use case for this presentation is a array log, and we decided to filter our metrics based on the rate type, year, or month when the rate was recorded. The template structure is established in two sheets and one dashboard. First, the intake metric sheet, where the backend of the filter criteria form resides in. Here, you can select the year, month, and even the rate type to filter the view of your metric and chart widgets. Second, we have our array log sheet and is the next one. This is our main sheet where we have all the information regarding to the rate log. We have the ID, the rate type, rate status, submit date, expect finishing date, finish date, complete, submit year, submit month, and comments. And third, we have our interactive widget dashboard. Here, we have three sections. The first one is our filter criteria form. At the bottom of it, you will find the actual selected values for rate type for month and year. After, you will find the interactive metric and chart widget sections. These two sections are based on the rate type month and year actually select. So if we select different values in our filter criteria form, the view for the metric and chart widgets will change. So let's do it right now. For this example, we only want to see information for the risk in January 2023. So we are only going to select the year and month. Here, we will choose January and also 2023. We submit our form and it will send you a message that say, please refresh this browser tab. We refresh it. And after that, we can scroll down to our metric section. You will see that the metric widgets and also the chart widgets change their values. I hope this is a really helpful video for you and thanks for watching.